into the night We wait the fragile wrongs and rights Young James Burnett began his education in Aberdeen, Scotland, and like so many young men of the period, he finished it abroad, in his case, the Netherlands, where he landed in Amsterdam. On his return to Edinburgh, James Burnett was confronted with the lynching of Captain Porteous. This was to be a day that had a profound influence on his life because that very evening he was to meet his future wife, Elizabeth. James Burnett became a bit of a celebrity in and around Edinburgh, both as a lawyer and as an evolutionist. He was given a title, Lord Monboddo, but amongst his friends and acquaintances, he had quite a reputation as being a bit eccentric. A good few years into his marriage, his private life became tragic. His son Arthur died at a young age, his eldest daughter eloped with his clerk, and he lost his beloved wife, Elizabeth. But she left him a legacy, his precious daughter, Eliza. I 
just a life Our child cut from her with a knife Eliza Burnett is now a young woman and her father, Lord Monboddo, spends most of his time on his Kincardinshire estate but one evening they decide to go to the theatre in Edinburgh, a favourite pastime of Lord Monboddo. In the foyer of the theatre they meet a very personable and very popular young man called Robert Burns. A friendship develops between Eliza and Burns and the friendship develops perhaps into a romance and the romance is cemented by a meeting at Crathis Gardens at Crathis Castle near Aberdeenshire. Burns is not a one to be tied down by one woman. He was far too fond of wine, women and song. And when one of his infidelities was discovered by Eliza, it broke her heart. She fell ill, her health deteriorated more and more, and she died tragically at the age of 25. Burns was so moved, he wrote an elegy for her. Life ne'er exulted in so rich a prize as Burnet, lovely from her native skies. Nor envious death so triumphed in a blow as laid the accomplished Burnet low.